Well, hello and welcome back. And thanks for coming back. Where are we? That's what you're wondering. This is Tomb of the King's Avenue. One of the busiest roads in downtown Pathos. Hugely popular with tourists. and people like to come and judge ch dance in downtown Pathos. Look at that, Miss Andrea. Especially for me, those lights went to red. Anyway, Tomb of the King's Avenue. What have you got on here? Well, plenty of restaurants, plenty of bars, plenty of cafes. You've got the bus terminal. That's coming up on the left-hand side. That's going to open up in a month or so. So they tell us you've got Kaya High shops, you've got boutiques, you've got hair salons, all sorts of things going on. Mr. Michael commented in the comments yesterday. He said he's going to stay at the Kissos Hotel, which is just back behind us down to the right, Mr. Michael. And this is what you're going to find. As I said in the comments, come out the front door, take a right, 30 seconds, you're going to hit the area known as two of the kings whether you go left or right after that doesn't matter there are restaurants and bars shops all, all sorts of things going on but like i say if you come out the front entrance and go right and then right again this is the way you'll be going and as you can see you've got tea for two if you want a breakfast you've got a kiosk here you've got the king's hotel and you've got the Cafalius Damon Hotel just over here. That's where some superstars quite recently stayed. And of course, they were the Barnhawks, Baby Barnhawk, and of course, Harry the Keeper. And the Baby Barnhawk, whew, she serenaded us in the Thomas Jungle Bar. She's a bit of a karaoke superstar. And I'm not exaggerating. When I say superstar, she is. That girl has got a voice quite simply to die for. Every time she went to sing and then came back down to sit down, everyone from the whole bar, I think all of Paphos, came over to congratulate her and to tell her just how good her voice was. And I can tell you, she's got a voice to die for. If I was you, Harry the Keeper, I'd hang on to her for the rest of my life. Now, they're off to call food for the holidays. And that means that Harry the Keeper, that's her partner in crime by the way, is going to go hunting for a diamond ring that was lost in Corfu 20 years ago by the superstar known as Baroness Louise Barnhawk, who is the mum of the baby Barnhawk, it's fern. Anyway, they lost a ring there many, many years ago and uh, Miss Fur and Mr Harry are off to Corfu for their next holiday very, very soon and you never know. He might find that ring. If not, when he comes back to Paphos, as I've told him, I'm going to march him into Marios Diamonds and his flexible friend's coming out and he's going to buy a diamond to pop on the baby Bar Fork's finger because they're going to get married very, very soon. It's as simple as that, Mr. Harry the Keeper. Right, where are we? This is the Paphos Mile roundabout, shall we say. Paphos Mile was there on our left-hand side. If you take a right there, you'd go down to downtown Kid of Paradise. You'd go down to the harbour and the promenade area. And that's where it's all happening if you come into Paphos on your holidays. Because it's a great, great place to walk up and down and, well, hang out with your friends. Hang out with your wife, with your husband, with your children, with your cat, with your dog, while you sit in one of the bars, one of the restaurants, and feast the tastes and the delights whilst you look out across the spectacularity of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Here you go, Miss Andrea, yet again, we are stuck at a red light. You know what? I've not been through a red light now for at least two days. What is going on in the world? That's what I want to know. They're putting more and more red lights up to slow me down. And uh, I've got YouTube videos to make. Now, if you like what you see, why not hit the like, click the subscribe, and perhaps come back for a little bit more of my madness. And if you want to help the channel to grow, keep the channel funded, why not go and hunt us down on the platform known as Buy Me A Coffee. That's a virtual buying coffee platform. In other words, you can send us a little gift, a little tip. So if you like what you see, go through and have a look at it, perhaps buy us a coffee or two, and we will pop your money into the fuel tank, the benzene tank as I call it, and continue to drive around and make special, special videos for you. They've also now got a membership part on that site where you can make a monthly contribution and help to keep the channel afloat and get yourself that a little bit closer to us and really, really interact with us as a superstar family member. Hopefully these lights are going to change the green. Oh, here we go. There we are. 
We're off on our travels along the Inner Ring Road and we are heading in the direction of the, well, if you understand where we are now, to the left, that's Russian Road. If you go to the right, you would wiggle and waggle down to get a Paphos via the Bar Street area. But we are on the Inner Ring Road and we're heading out along the road that is purpose-built that takes you from the Hotels Road, that's where all the beachside hotels are, and it's called Pasadonis Avenue, and it takes you to the Ring Road out towards, well, Alexia and then Timmy, which is where actually the Patfors International Airport is. So this is the way that we are heading, shall we say. Now I think that we may take a slight detour and go through the Universal area, because I understand a lot of people like Universal, and a lot of people perhaps want to understand where Universal area is in relation to the Ghetto Patfors Harbour. On our left now is the Universal area. Now, if you were to go straight across the road here to the right, if you're on foot, you can cut straight through and there's a walkway and literally within, what, five minutes you'll be on Bar Street and another five minutes you'll be on the Ked of Paphos Promenade. So, if you understand, if you are residing in the Universal area, perhaps as a tourist, you don't need a car, shall we say, because well, you've got a big mini market kiosk there called the Central Universal and then just over here on the left you've got a further kiosk and this one is called the Amazon kiosk. So they're pretty big, they're like Aladdin's caves when you go in there and they sell everything from cigarettes to those smoking devices. In fact the Aladdin's one there, the Amazon kiosk, that cave, it actually sells rampant rabbits. Don't ask me what they are but they're there. And there's a cabinet to the side of where the serving hatch is and I walked in there, I was shocked one of these days by the way and I said to the lady serving, what are those? The look on her face, well, what can I say? It said a thousand words, that's for sure and uh, in her broken English she said to me, oh, I, I, I don't know so I left it at that. Anyway, what is a rabbit rabbit? Perhaps you can drop in the comments and uh, educate me. So, Universal Area, this is where we are and uh, many people have got apartments in this area, many people have got little townhouses, and one or two people have got villas. Superstar known as the, wow, what is he? He's actually the Chief Constable, yeah, man in charge of all the police in Omarika and me. His name is Ronnie Miller, well he's got an apartment just over yonder, behind that building right in front of us, and he's coming to Paphos very, very soon. Just on the other side of the Universal, there's another superstar who's coming down to town very, very soon. His father's in town as we speak, and his name's Daniel Mahoney. And he's going to come down and down at Pathos in and around about September, I think he was saying. He's got a new partner in crime, so we're going to get the, the new lady in his life, and hopefully she has joined us as a family member. Otherwise, we will refuse to meet you in the Pathos Diner, that's for sure. So, this is the Universal area. Mainly it's apartment complexes, there are the odd townhouse around and there is the odd villa, but mainly it's apartment complexes. Half of the year, should we say half of it is empty, and then the other half of the year the place is absolutely rammed out to the rafters because people who own the apartments come and stay in them, and of course tourists come and stay in them, people have weekends away, these kind of things. I think you understand. Paphos is a touristy town, although it does not just depend on tourists, it's actually a working hub as well. And it's a very, very nice town indeed. It really, really is. If you look up into the sky now, I'm pretty sure you can see that the sky is very, very blue indeed. Let's take a right and let's head down through the Universal area and get back onto the main inner ring road and continue on our travels. Now, just down here is the house of the man known as Daniel Mahoney. Now, we're not going to point out which one it is, but it's coming up could be on the left, it could be on the right. And it's a great location because he understands that just down yonder is the place called the Pambus Diner. And if you've not been here since, well, when did it complete? If you've not been here in the last three months, it's had a complete new facade. The restaurant has gone from being, I don't want to insult it because it's a good little restaurant with good food and good service, but it was a bit of a ramshackle place. I don't mean that as an insult. The people who hang out there understand what I mean but now it's had a brand new steel and glass facade now it's gone that little bit upmarket and uh, if you feast your eyes now look at that 
very very nice indeed and I think it's going to pay them back dividends because it looks much much better prices are the same service is the same it's just that the environment that you're hanging out in is much much better you've got a fruit market back there by the way you've got a supermarket fruit market here so again if you're in this area as a tourist well there's plenty of places for you to get your essentials shall we say if you want to hire a buggy you can hire it from there you can also hire those three-wheel electric trikes if you want to get around and you don't want to hire a car so universal is a great great area indeed in fact i lived in universal for two years a while back and i didn't actually want to move but in the end i had to due to work doesn't it you know what I mean? if i wanted to hang out i think i would choose universal there was a chap the other day in the comments considering buying an apartment in and around pathos and he was asking if i was going to buy one where would you buy and i said to him well from a touristy point of view or from a retirement point of view i would buy that apartment probably in universal or on the Tomb of the Kings area because it literally is where all the action is and you know you don't actually need a car so if you were flipping backwards and forwards you could come from the airport on the bus or with a taxi and if you hung out in the Universal or Tomb of the Kings area you wouldn't need to hire a car so you could walk everywhere simple as that there we go so that's what I would say if you disagree, well, drop it in the comments and perhaps we'll have a discussion about it. And perhaps we can help people come up with the perfect, perfect place to choose that holiday home. On that note, I'm going to say to you thanks for watching. And of course, if you do like what you see, why not hit the like, click subscribe and perhaps come back for that little bit more of my madness. This is the inner road. We're going to come to this roundabout on the end here. If you were to go right, you would go down to the Cape of Paphos harbour promenade area you'd come out right in front of the olympic lagoon resort if you were to go left you'd go up to the former debenhams roundabout and if you kept on going straight you'd come up to the limassol roundabout we're going to go straight over and this is the purpose-built road that hooks the Pasadonas avenue the hotels on the beach side the promenade and the harbour area to the ring road that takes you out towards Alexia, Timmy, and of course the Paphos International Airport, with you bypassing Yeriskipu and Paphos Town. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one very, very soon.